Hello and welcome back to Yes Your Grace. It is actually very late where I am right now, so I'm going to be a little bit quieter than normal, but that is not going to stop me from attempting to find out the culprit and uh, hopefully proving my innocence. We'll see. Anyway, we're in week 27 right now, and of course, that means that Rodovia is upon us in a very short amount of time. So let's see what Audrey has to say. Your Grace, we are almost ready for the battle. This is our last chance to form many alliances and ready our agents. Thank you for the reminder, Audrey. When we're ready, we'll march to the foothills of the mountains. Redovia will not expect us to meet them there. They will certainly not be ready for the attack. We might have a chance to win this. I'm actually unsure how many you, you really need to uh, be able to achieve victory. But as the bar on the supply meter every single week shows a thousand as the maximum i can assume that maybe a thousand is the maximum i don't think it is personally i think the bar will probably just carry over to the next one and so on and so forth so you know that's not really going to make any difference but anyway let's talk to stan your grace i'm back from belka i must say something very strange is happening it was covered in snow when i arrived but when i dealt with the man on the white horse all the frost just melted I'm not sure what that was about, but it seems like whatever I did helped. Thank you. Hopefully this won't happen again. Alright. Yeah, so someone in the comments actually mentioned that the uh, the horsemen that uh, are being driven away or defeated or whatever the case may be are actually representations of the horsemen of the apocalypse. And I gotta say that's... Yeah, that's actually a very, very cool theory indeed. And uh, I'm not sure whether that's been confirmed, is it? Or maybe it's just like a, I don't know, more, more of a representation, I suppose, of them. Anyway, let's speak to our witch. Your Grace, I stopped at an abandoned house on the side of the road. It was full of pans of every sort of size, shape, and color. I don't know who could have such an obsession with pans, but while searching through them, I found some gold. Oh, well, that's actually, oh, okay, four. <laughs> well, it's not going to break the bank, but I'm very happy that uh, we found some at, at the very least. You have called for me, your grace. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to say about the file, but we're not actually going to call off the wedding or anything like that because I think that curse is absolutely is absolute bull honky. I don't think that that curse is a real thing, and I don't think that Lena is is the uh, you know, is the person that actually perpetrated the whole thing. It just looks way, it's way too obvious that everything is pointing toward her in my opinion. Anyway, it looks like a potion file. I don't know much about potions myself. All right, well, there you go. That'll be all for today. Very well. All right, so, mercenary. Your Grace, we hear of the upcoming battle. That's a perfect time for us to gain some coin and an opportunity for you to get some help. We're skilled. 22 skill pen at your disposal for only 16 gold. What do you say? Uh, 16? I mean, 22 for 16 gold, I I personally don't think that this is that good a deal. Mm. No, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not interested. We'll be back in two weeks. I mean, that's the thing. Yeah, sure, you can come back in two weeks because there's actually three weeks until Rodovia attacks. Anyway, Torlando is here. This is going to be very funny, I hope. Thank you, thank you, your grace. Your general was magnificent. I made such progress. Unbelievable. I wanted to show you the final piece, but now I'm thinking. The general is kind of lonely in there. Why not expand on the story? Make it bigger, better, make it grand. You know what I'm thinking? A witch would make a great addition. A general and a witch together. I think, I think this will sell. Oh, everyone will talk about Torlando the Wonderful. <laughs> ah, that's going to be hilarious. Yes, go, go for it. Take, take Alina and uh, see what you, see what you can weave into, <laughs> uh, into your little, uh, little story there. Perfecto. The witch is going to make all the difference. Thank you, your grace. That guy reminds me too much of Dandelion, and I, I just, I can't help but just give him whatever he wants. If he, if he'd asked me for 60 gold, I might consider it, but probably wouldn't do it, let's face it. Anyway, he is a hunter. Aha. Your Grace, I bring... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 
Oh dear. Wait a minute. Is that is that the fox? Father, have you seen Ah, what happened to the hisser? Your grace, these are dangerous pests. They steal eggs, chickens, and other goods and can spread diseases, fleas in particular. I came here to offer my services as a hunter, your grace. I saw this fox hiding in the castle, so I hunted it down. I thought I would do you all a favor. Oh dear. What have you done? This was my daughter's pet. The hisser was here on a very important mission. Ah, uh, this murderer here should rot in the dungeons for killing one of my special agents. I'm sorry, please don't punish me, your grace. If I, if I only knew, I wouldn't have. I came here looking for gold, but since I have been nothing but trouble so far, please let me be at your service. Let me serve you and your people. That is what I would like. I can deal with monsters, wild animals, track them down and bring you their bodies. Let me redeem myself, please, your grace. Maybe I'll be of help during the battle with Rodovia too. Bodies you can keep. I don't want to see any of that. But we could use your help for sure. Thank you, your grace. I will do my best to redeem myself. Um, I will be in the dungeons if you need me. I think your dungeon guard is an old friend of mine. And there he is. Okay, so there we go. We have now hunt hunted the hired. <laughs> yes, we have now hired the hunter. Okay. Another agent is at our disposal, your grace. You'll see this agent in the weekly summary screen. How, mu how much do I have to pay him? Do I have to pay him anything? What about the hisser, father? How do I take Losulia and Dusty back now? I'm sorry, Sadani. At least the hunter here will act on hisser's behalf. Fine. I will bury him with the others. I had better check on the hunter when I get a minute. He might know something about this tooth. Yeah, exactly. He might. All right. And here is a merchant. I run a little business, your grace. I can exchange your supplies for gold. Let's say 25 supplies for 18 gold. That's actually a really, really good exchange rate. And I would actually do it if I wasn't uh, doing quite well on gold right now. Uh, do I actually want to buy Oracle Dust? You know, there might actually be a reason why we have so far been given multiple merchants that are willing to sell us Oracle Dust. I'm actually going to buy some. Do you have, hmm, something to help with the stress? Oh yes, let me, uh, um, let me help you with this, your grace. Alright, so there you go. We've got some oracle dust. I think, you, n you never know, maybe it's going to be useful for something. I really don't think so. But they've offered us twice now. And I would be a little bit foolish, perhaps, to allow them just to, to just go away without doing something about it, so... I'm going to get it this time around. All right. So now that we're done. Uh, what? Where's Losulia, by the way? She has not uh, responded to the letter. I'm a, I'm a bit worried about her, to be fair. Not entirely sure what's going on with her. Okay, so Sadani is here. Your Grace, are you saying goodbye to Hissa? Yes, Father. Shh. Dear Hissa, you are my bestest and swiftest agent. But most of all, you are my best friend. You're leaving a deep hole in my heart. I will miss you forever. I hope you rest in peace. I hope you rest in peace, Hizza. Thank you, Father. It's all right, Sadani. Are you feeling any better? Yes, Father. I'll just stay here for a while. All right. And Asalia, I don't think we have anything to say to her. No, we don't. All right. So now we can exit. And now we can go and speak to the hunter, finally. And we can actually have him appraise... Uh, the, uh, the tooth, right? Yeah, the tooth. Okay, so this, this peasant guy, uh, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna leave all these guys in here for the moment. Your Grace, I have found this tooth. This was in a wine cellar. What can you tell me about it? Hmm, it looks like it came from a big animal. Enormous, in fact. Maybe a griffin or a dragon. I've never seen such a thing, Your Grace. Could you find out where this thing could have come from? I can try. I have a book on animal trophies somewhere. It will take a while, though. Do what you must. All right. Fantastic. Okay, so he's going to go and have a look, and then he'll come and he'll speak to us when we are... Uh, when, when, when we, you know, move on to the next week. That's going to be good. And otherwise, we do have the opportunity to call for someone... I mean, I can't call for King Ivo, as you can see. He's not, he's actually, uh, he's actually busy. And I can't call for anyone else, basically. As you can see here. I literally cannot call for anyone else. Lurs, 
uh, unfortunately, every single time I ask him to join or ask him to to uh, the throne room, he doesn't do anything for us, and he kind of just he just says nothing. So I will not be able to invite anyone along, which is actually kind of a shame. Would have been nice, maybe. A, no, I, I did try inviting Etten as well, so that's not actually going to do anything. And let's have a look. There's only three more villages. All right, so let's do this one down here then. And we'll send the general. Okay, there we go. And let's go to the next week, I suppose. Boy. I could still invite a lord. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. I can't, there's, there's really nothing to do. What about Noxy? What about Noxy? I'll, I'll invite Noxy and maybe see if we can make amends with him or something like that. Actually, before we go to the next week, I might want to go into the council chamber and just take a look at our evidence. But obviously, there's not really... M m nothing much has changed because, as you can see, we still need to seek the expert because we still haven't heard what he has to say. So, nothing really to worry about there. And we can just go back into the throne room and go to the next week. All right, so how much is the hunter being paid? 11. Oh, that's pretty serious, isn't it? Oh, that's that's a lot. Okay, and as you can see, we can now prepare the hunter so that he is available during the battle as well. I'm actually unsure whether we really want to do that. Do we want to do that? Maybe it would be a good idea, but you can see here that uh, Alina is also 11 gold. So if we calculate all of that, it's 31 gold. For all of them at the same time, which is pretty, it's pretty, pretty harsh, you know, it's pretty harsh. And uh, we, we currently have 30, 32, 33, 34. So we have 34 gold that we're making every single week. I guess what I will do is, uh, no, we'll pay the army, we'll pay the army for the moment. And I guess we will prepare the hunter. We have 56 gold. I guess that's enough. Maybe, for whatever might befall us. Revno, week 28. Ah, there we go. We have received a letter. Fantastic. Let's speak and see what's happening with it. Father, I don't have time to explain everything. I know you're not responsible for Talus's death, and I think Ivo knows who poisoned his father. The atmosphere here is very tense. Ivo and his advisors are talking behind my back. They wouldn't let me stay with them and always send me back to my chambers. I've heard Ivo say he has some kind of plan. I can't wait to see... Okay. Uh, well, that's it. it. It just cuts off abruptly. So uh, I find that kind of weird how she was able to uh, write all of that and then it just cuts off, but I suppose she just ran out of time. I can't wait to see you. She didn't finish writing. Could it be she was in a hurry? It's good she's coming with Ivo soon. We will find everything out then. Uh, yeah, I'm sure we will, Audrey. Are we ready for the royal trial, your grace? Yes, I did all we could. I, well, I did all I could. The trial starts next week. This is our last chance to gather evidence, your grace. We don't need to pay agents for that week. Ah, oh, we won't need them. Oh, okay. Oh, that's actually, uh, that's that's pretty good. Anyway, okay, so the hunter. Ah, oh, there's Noxy, and we have another peasant. Oh, we have another three peasants to deal with. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Your grace, I've encountered a group of children in the forest. They were looking for the fern flower. Seems like they didn't know they wouldn't find a thing this time of year. Luckily, nothing bad happened to them, so I took them to their parents and they thanked me with what they could, some supplies and their words of gratitude. Wow, that was actually a huge, huge amount of supplies. 11 supplies and plus three happiness as well. That's actually very good. Okay, so let's speak to the hunter, see what he has to say about the tooth. It's a very rare dragon tooth. It appears to have come from an Allah demon. What? Oh, wow. A female dragon who lives in the ancient forests of Caladur. Caladur, what would such a thing be doing in my castle? Whoever lost it must have been an adventurous person. Audrey is right. I don't think you could get such an exotic tooth here in Davern. Right, so we now know everything that there is to know about all of the evidence. So we are theoretically prepared... Are we? I, I gotta check the ta I gotta, gotta, gotta check the table, I guess. At your service, Your Grace. I have found a file. Mm, yeah, so we can't do anything else. I used to buy poison files from merchants to use on monsters. I don't use them anymore. They never worked. I haven't seen such an elegant file before, though. Looks important. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I guess we've asked everyone that we can ask, right? Uh, haven't we? 
I mean, the only person that we haven't really asked is Ivo anything. We've asked everyone else, haven't we? Maybe apart from Ada, maybe? No, I think we've... Haven't we asked Ada? Yeah, I think we've asked Ada everything that we can as well. All right, well, whatever the case, let's speak to the peasant here. I'm sorry to bother you, but we're in a very bad situation. We don't know why this is happening. Someone must have done something terrible for the gods to punish us so badly. Our sacred oak is dying prematurely. All the leaves are falling and they shouldn't be, Your Grace. We have given all the sacrifices we could. We have all gathered and prayed. Nothing is helping. We think Volos has escaped the underground. He is searching for the sinner. He must be hiding in someone's house. This is why we've been having so many thunderstorms, Your Grace. The God of Thunder is trying to find Volos. The thunder won't stop until he returns underground. Your Grace, please send a hunter to find him. Or give us supplies for tonight's ceremony. All right, three weeks. Sure. Sure. Uh, the hunter has already helped me uh, with the tooth, so I don't need him any further, technically. Um, but I, I think that's that's good enough because we're going to gain a little bit of happiness, aren't we? Whoa, plus five. Wow, that's insane. Okay. And Aurelia is now here as well. Eric, I have important news. I wasn't sure and I didn't want to jinx anything. I, m I think it must be around 14 weeks. But now I'm certain. We're pregnant. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I seem very surprised. Hopefully it will be a boy this time. Yes, my darling. I have a good feeling about this. Have you told the girls yet? No, I haven't, darling. Can I tell them? Of course you can. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's that's good news, I suppose. And uh, let's have a look what this guy says. My village was attacked by Sav... Oh, no. He's going to ask for the hunter as well. A pack of wolves have has attacked our shed. They took some of our chickens, leaving us with less to eat, and they've also wounded the shed keeper who tried to scare them away. I think they are hungry at this time of year. We are afraid they will be back. Yeah. Okay, sure, you can take the supplies. Here are some supplies. Gain another five happiness. This should last for a while before you can get new chickens. All right, this will help get us by for the next couple of weeks. Okay, fantastic. I bow before you, Your Grace. My name is Boguslav. Bogus? Okay. Is this, is this a bogus offer? We'll see. I don't want to bother you, but I have a matter that twists my brains. My lady, she's so upset with me, and she's got good reasons, I tell you. I ain't no man to think straight. I wanted to do good, and I sold our barn to buy her a servant. You know, to help her in the house and with the, with the kids. She always complains how much work, work she has. She flipped and threw me out because our barn will make no more money for us. And she has a point here. Darn. Did I not think of this before? I've tried everything, Your Grace, but she will not have me back. I found a new job in the potato fields. I shaved even. My heart is broken. I cannot sleep at night. Please help, Your Grace. Okay, maybe the witch could help. I don't have the witch. What about 23 gold? Sure, take 23 gold. Your lady seems upset about losing the barn. Maybe you can invest this gold in some other business. Yes, Your Grace, I knew I could count on your help. Oh, she will be so happy. She'll need to take me back now. All right, well, there you go. We now have 73 happiness. That's actually pretty good. Maybe I should have just given the oracle dust. <laughs> no, that's probably not going to help him out too much. All right, so let's go to the bedchamber. Because we have an optional conversation here with Aurelia. Darling, how are you feeling? This is such good news, Aurelia. I know, honey. I am so happy. How are you feeling? Well, I have been vomiting all morning, but that's fine. I suppose I can live with it. Do you remember when I was pregnant with Losulia? Of course. Those were different times. I wish things were as simple as back then. Me too. No wars, no lords, no silly peasants. Listen, if you need anything at all, you come and get me, all right? Of course. I think I'll stay here and have someone start the fire for the evening. It is quite chilly in here. Of course, my darling. I will see you later. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine. She's doing good. Okay, that's great. And I guess we'll go to the gardens now. And we will speak to Asalia, apparently. Ah, yes, ah, yes, because, we, of course, we're breaking the news about the potential child. I bring good news. Your mother is pregnant. Ah, no wonder, after all the giggles you've been having in the bedroom lately. Asalia, please. I'm sorry. Haven't you got enough? With you three? Yes. We're hoping for a boy this time. We need a successor to the throne. Ah, I hope it's a boy then. I wouldn't want yet another sister. Maybe a boy wouldn't get so torn up about silly jokes. Oh, Asalia. Alright. So, that's that's fine. We've told Asalia, that's good. And now we can go to the council chamber as well. 
All right, so wait a minute. Okay, so we can go to the table. We're going to go to the table after we speak to Sidani here. Your Grace, I bring good news. You are going to be a big sister. What? But I already have a big sister. And now you're going to have a little sister or a brother. Wow, really? When? I want a little brother. What is his name going to be? We don't know yet. We don't know if it's going to be a boy or a girl. But he or she is going to join our family in around 20 weeks. Is this a long time? Yes, it's still a while away. This is so exciting. Maybe he can help me convince Luli to come back home. Well, speaking of that, your, your sister is visiting soon. Are you excited? Yes, is she bringing Dusty? How long is she staying for? I'll tell her about how Hissa tried to save her. I'm sorry, she's not bringing Dusty, sweetheart. I know how much you miss him, but he wouldn't want to travel such a long distance. We'll take you to see him right after all of this is over. How does that sound? That's fine, I suppose. I need to find a new agent, something different, but nothing else comes to the gardens. You'll find something eventually. How about another snail? They can't do much. Hmm. Well, they, they're very good at uh, eavesdropping, I guess. Anyway, let's take a look at the evidence. Okay, so we have all of the evidence now. The witch tested the file. She confirmed it matched the poison used to uh, kill Talus. The file was found near Branca, the village managed by Lord Etten. Lord Lurz confirmed Talus and Etten didn't get along very well. The hunter found that the tooth came from a dragon from Kaladur. Lady Lena mentioned that dragon's teeth are worn by soldiers to help them in battle. The general found out that the northern lords used to decorate their letters this way, and Lord Gregor said the trees on the letter are rowan trees. They are used to build children's cradles to protect them from evil spirits. Okay, I don't really know how much that actually helps me, but I have collected all of the evidence at least. So I guess that's good? Question mark? Really don't know. <laughs> really don't know. Anyway, let's send our general to go and explore one of the last locations. And I don't really care about inviting anyone right now because it actually makes no, no sense. So let's just do this. All right, so we're not paying anyone. 69 gold. <laughs> yeah. 37 uh, supply, which is actually very nice. And... Only one week until Rodovia comes. Let's see who arrives. Oh, oh, the Royal Trial. All right. Welcome to the Royal Trial. But this is actually where this episode will end. A little bit of a cliffhanger there for you. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.